Hey guys, Steve Petrato here from Blade. In this video, we are going to cover pressure sensor calibration. This kind of maintenance is going to be helpful if you've either replaced the pressure sensor or your 350QX has been through a few crashes and is inaccurately holding altitude. It's a good idea to do this calibration every so often for optimum performance. You're going to need a refrigerator or freezer, your 350QX, flight battery, and transmitter for this task. In order to calibrate the onboard pressure sensor of your 350QX, you will need to lower the temperature of the sensor and then allow the, it to calculate the temperature change over time as it warms up. The 350QX will collect data for 10 minutes while warming back up and will be able to better calculate what altitude it's at in the future. Make sure that you have a nice space cleared in your freezer and place the 350QX in for about 5 to 10 minutes. You can use a refrigerator, but better calibration will be from cooling the sensor down to 0 degrees Celsius or about 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, make sure you have unplugged the flight battery and remove it as it's unnecessary to cool it down in the process. Once we have the 350QX cooled down enough, we will go ahead and place the flight battery in the model and turn it on to get it into bind mode. Once the 350QX goes into bind mode, which is indicated by a rapid blue blinking status LED, we will bind the model with right rudder, or yaw. You will know you have done it correctly if the 350QX starts to blink red and blue repeatedly. Make sure to hold right rudder input until you see the red and blue blinking, otherwise the model may not enter the correct mode. At this point, we are going to let the 350QX sit on the table for 10 minutes as it calibrates the pressure sensor. Once the calibration is complete, the 350QX will make the success tone and reboot the system. That's it. Your 350QX should now hold altitude much better in smart mode.